Hi guys, it's Amber, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Madhouse. If you're not, then thank you so much for returning. Um, today I am doing something a little bit different. So um, my channel up until now has all been about my trying to conceive my fertility episodes. Um, however, I am gonna start branching out a little bit. So the fertility episodes are still going to be going live every Saturday. Um, however, during the week, I thought I would branch out a little bit. So one thing I'm always getting asked on my Instagram is about my eye makeup um, and just about my general makeup look. So I asked on my stories whether or not this is something that people would be interested in after I received a question about it on my Q&A and everybody said yes. So this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, so bear with me. My lighting has always also been absolutely horrific, so I really am so sorry. Um, however, I am today going to teach you how to do this look. It's nothing special, but it's my nice little autumnal look. I really like doing my makeup like this. This is how I have it most days, um, and therefore I thought this would be a great look to start with and a great look to show you how to do. I am by no means a professional makeup artist um, in any way, shape or form, so these tips if you like are not necessarily the best way to go about it but this is what works for me i don't use really expensive really fancy products they're just quite cheap general day-to-day -day products um but it works for me so you asked i provided um so yeah please make sure that you like comment and subscribe uh, i really appreciate it and that you check me out on instagram um but yeah let's crack on and i will show you how to make your face look like this Okay, so I have to admit, this is not um, my best look ever, um, but I'm gonna start just with my basic skincare. The very first thing I do is use this. So this is the Labu. I don't know if it's gonna focus. No, it's not gonna focus. Um, but this is the Labu Anti-Aging Serum. Um, I've only been using this for about three weeks. I'll be totally honest, I was gifted it. Um, and I absolutely love it. I do really, really like it. So they are a UK based company um, and they are completely cruelty free. There are no nasties in it and I absolutely love it. I think I have really combination skin and so I get really oily in certain places and then I get really dry around my nose and other areas. So I just tend to put three dabs of it onto my face and then just massage it in. And after that I will use a face lotion. Um, is that gonna focus? No, of course it's not. Nothing is gonna focus today, I can feel it already. Um, this is the Hydra Face Lotion. So I will use either this or the moisturizer in the morning. I kind of alternate a little bit um but yeah again this is all the same as before it's vegan against cruelty testing um animal testing sorry and the this is full of vitamin c and it's really really light and i really like that um so i've always used clinique up until now but i do really like this so this is cucumber and fennel so again i do three little squirts onto my hand dab it on my face and then just massage it in. So now onto the actual makeup which is kind of why you're here. Um, I am in no way, shape or form at all any kind of makeup artist. Um, I probably do it all wrong so if you are a makeup artist uh, and you do everything properly then I suggest that you look the other way because this really isn't professional in any way shape or form um i mix my products up the products i'm going to use are just kind of my everyday so i don't spend a fortune on my products that i wear all the time because i get through them really quickly i do wear quite a lot of makeup so um i do get through them really quickly and sometimes i don't i think a lot of the time yes you do get what you pay for but i think quite often there are things that you would spend a load of money on and actually they're quite naff or they don't last very long um so I just kind of use what's work, uh, what works for me. Some of these products uh, a couple of months ago I was a bit poor and I kind of ran out of everything all at once. So at the end of the month I did like a run to Sainsbury's and was like, right, these are the basics I need and crack on. Um, so I always start with my eyebrows. I do kind of a light um, shape around them. 
Uh, and to do that, I use the MAC Brow Pencil. So again, I'm not sure this is going to focus. No, probably not. Um, but that is the pencil I use. It's the Eyebrow Styler and the shade is in Stud. Um, so on one side, which side is it? You have a very thin brush. Again, not sure that's going to focus. You have a very thin brush and on the other side you have your pencil so again that's not going to focus but on the other side you have your pencil the first thing i do is kind of brush them out so i just want to make sure that all the hairs are going in the same direction and i do that on both sides and also just ensure that they're looking Full. so then I'll brush that bit this brow is my worst brow so I have a good brow and a bad brow and this brow wins every time it just doesn't seem to fluff out as well it's got a really weird shape to it like it grows that way rather than up um, which really bothers me actually so first of all so I wind my pencil up I hold my head a bit like that and I just draw a gentle line like I say at this stage all I'm doing is shaping them and then I just do a few little upstrokes towards the front just so it looks a bit more full So my eyebrows are now just shaped so that's all I do to begin with I just shape them but I just make sure that the outline is there because then I go on to do my foundation um, so the foundation I use I use a MAC studio fix again it's not going to focus is it no nope, not at all um, I have this in an NW15 yeah NW15 um, to be honest this is a little bit dark for me I bought it over the summer when I had a tan and I was fake tanning I really like it. The other one that I use is Estee Lauder, uh, the double wear, and I use that in Ivory Nude. Um, and I do really like it. I think it is really good, but then I think a lot of the time, um, if I'm having a particularly dry day with my skin, I find that it really accentuates that rather than making me look nice. I can't think what the word was there. Whereas a the MAC, I do think, as much as it's got a matte finish, I do think it still gives me quite a dewy look. Um, so I do really like that. So, yeah, I'm going to pop this on. And I do that with a beauty blender. And I just dab it all on. Some people hate beauty blenders, but I personally love them. Dab it all on, blend that down my neck. And so that is what we're going to do. Um, I use a little brush and dab it on. And then I go with my beauty blender. So that's the MAC Studio Fix. Okay, so there we go. So my face is covered in foundation. Makes my skin just, it just covers all my red marks. Um, so that's one thing I really like about this foundation. The coverage is fantastic. Um, it can, I think, look a bit cakey if you put a bit too much on. I do like to wear a lot as I really do like a full coverage. Um, but generally, I really like this foundation. Um, so, now I move on to my eyes so the reason I do this is because any fallout I can get rid of and then I can go over it with my concealer it is my eyes that I tend to get most questions about so this is what I use so this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette um, I absolutely swear by this I love it um, so if I just show you here so this is the palette you can see how much I use it just by looking there um, but generally I adore this so I do tend to use this every day um, depending on what I'm doing depends on how glam I go if you like so today I am gonna kind of go somewhere in the middle um, it's the weekend 
why not? So the first colour I'm going to use is the second one in. So this is called Chaser and I adore it. So all I do, I use the brush that came with it as I do really like it. So I just sweep a little bit on the thinner end of the brush. Again, definitely not going to focus, but I just sweep the brush in there, tap off any excess, close my eye and just sweep that all over. This really isn't the best light, so I do apologize. I think I need to get a new ring light. This one is quite dinky. So there we go, adjusting any creases that you get. I always do put foundation on my eyelid um, and I just find it blends it out. Yeah, it's still quite a natural color, so you can't really see loads of it. It just kind of is a good colour for a base, if you ask me. There you go. Nice and even. Um, so then, I move on to the fourth one in. So this one is called Low Blow. So I use that, and this time I use the other end of the brush. So I use the thicker end, and I literally just dab it, tap the excess off, and this I just use kind of on the edges. So I'm gonna use this so you can hopefully see a bit better. And I just dab that on. Uh, once I've dabbed it on, I blend inwards. Only because I feel like if you blend outwards, it extends and you end up with a bit of a cat eye of eyeshadow which is not really the look I'm going for so I just blend that round it just adds a bit of a deeper shade to the edges but it still looks quite um, it doesn't look natural it obviously looks like you've got eyeshadow on but it's still quite a neutral build up Okay, so then the same again. don't bring it too far up as you don't want it blending into your eyebrow. I do highlight underneath my brow um, and then on top of that I just think it looks weird. It's like you've gone back to the 90s with it all pulled up so I just want to even that out. Okay I'm quite happy with that. So you can see at the moment just how it's a blend of browns. Excellent. So now I lose this brush for the time being. Um, now, brush wise, I don't spend a lot of money on my brushes. If I like them, I like them. Um, this one is one I got in a set from Amazon when I was about 18. I think I'd just gone to uni and my brush broke, so I ordered a set off uni, um, off eBay, Amazon, one of the two, and it's just a standard little eyeshadow brush. I love a bit of glitter on my eye, so the glitter ones in here, you either have ember right at the end, you have scorched, you have dirty talk, and you have, I don't know how you say it, but I'm going to say lumbra. Um, that's the one that I tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis, the lumbra, but today I am going to go with, we're going to go for a bit of dirty talk. Let's put some dirty talk on our eyes. Goodness me. So with this, I literally, I just rub it in. You do get quite a bit of fallout if you're not careful. So I do, again, just tap my brush, get any excess off. And then I just tap this on. 
right in the middle. That's all I do, just I just tap it over the lid in the middle. And then if you need to build it up, you can build it up. So we will come back to this. So I do kind of do this twice. So you don't need too much, you just need, if anything, you need more towards the front than you do the edge. So I just tap that on like that. And then repeat on the other side. Okay, so there we go. They look quite equal, or I think so anyway. Um, I then go to this brush. So this is the Urban Decay blending brush. Um, any kind of identifiable thing it had on it maybe has come off. It just says Urban Decay blending, that's all it says on it. It's quite a thick brush, so I use this. Um, so today I'm gonna go for the Cayenne, um, which is this one here. So it's quite a dark colour and I literally just sweep that on and again we're just going to go to the end. Um, I just use this to kind of blend the colours together but also it just gives it a bit of a bolder look. Um, I do like quite a dramatic eye so I just sweep that over. It blends in the brown with the glitter but it also adds a smokier look on the end so it kind of if you're not careful you do end up looking a bit like a drag queen so do just sweep that over and there we go so I'm now going to do that on the other side as you can see at the moment it is quite dark looking but again blending inwards not outwards but this is just to See, there it is again, the gaping mouth. Gaping, that's such a disgusting word. Okay, so, that is that for the time being. Now, so I'm going back to this brush. Now, this is where I get a bit controversial. I use the thicker end of the brush to go underneath my lashes. So again, I'm gonna go back to the Cayenne and I literally just put, it's not gonna focus, which is really annoying. I put the tiniest little bit on the end, basically, just a huge, tiny, tiny little bit. Um, and I just look up and just drag that under really gently. You can probably get thinner brushes to do it. I just don't and I just sweep that out so it's all attached and it just gives it just makes your eyes pop a little bit more and there we go so as you can see hopefully She hopes. Um, so then I'll go back to the softer side of the brush, the smaller size, just get rid of any excess. And then I go right down to the lightest shade. So this is the one that I've used quite a lot of. This one is just called Ounce. Um, and I just drag a little bit and I just fill in the corners. Just make sure it's blended in nicely. And then I'll just drag that gently around the top, just to make it a bit softer. That's all, you literally don't need very much of this at all. 
but it just gives it a bit of a softer finish so you don't look so pow. I then use my concealer. So some people do this the other way around, they do the concealer and then the eyeshadow, I don't. Now, I just use a cheapo. Um, sometimes I use the Touche Eclair um, by YSL. However, this one, my day-to-day -day one, is the Fit Me by Maybelline. And again, it's not gonna focus, so I'm not gonna sit and funny about trying to get it to. Um, I just literally dab it in there, dab a little bit underneath here. Just drag that down. And the same on the other side. It is nearly empty, otherwise there is no way that I would be dipping again. So I just get that all in. Okay. I then go back to my beauty blender. It's the exact same beauty blender and just dab that in. Some people do like to put it here and here and here. I don't, I pick and choose when I do it. Um, I'm gonna highlight up there and I don't really want to be cakey today. If I was going out, maybe I'd do it a little bit differently, but I'm not going out, so this is just for you. Once I've done the base of my eyes and then I've done my foundation, my concealer, if I have any excess, I seem to have done quite well today and not getting any fallout, so I would sometimes just dab that off before I do the concealer, but I didn't seem to get any today, so this is good. Um, I go on to actually doing my face, so I'll go on to the contour. Um, so, this is my Smashbox contour kit. I don't really contour very often, used to and therefore there is none of these left and only a bit of this left so this is what I use um, that is just contour I literally just use that there and on my nose so I'll show you how I do that so again I use the brush that came with it so this is the Smashbox contour brush and I literally just sweep a little bit of that on and I will drag that down my nose again I'm just going to use a mirror in it so that you can see and just blend that downwards. And then repeat. Now this is where I just contour this part of my cheek. I don't put very much on, I tend to do more bronzer than I do contour, um, as I'm not really, I haven't really got the face for contour. Um, so I bought that on a whim, I used the bronzer for quite some time and obviously the highlight um, but generally I don't think it's worth the money. Um, so weirdly this one which is a Rimmel one, um, it's not a contour kit, it's literally just a bronzer, um, I love. I have this in some bronze and I actually really like it, I think I paid about £6 for it. Um, and again, I don't actually know where this is from, but it's a brush and I use it for my bronze and I use it for my blush. I'm really just, I don't care. Um, I'd love to spend loads of money on brushes, but there's other things that I spend my money on, so I don't. Um, so with that, let's just move that light again. Not that it's made any difference at all. Oh God. Um, I just tap that on and then So that just, I think, gives me a bit of a glow, just defines my cheeks a little bit more. Um, I don't know, why do people wear bronzer? But that's it, just makes me look a little bit skin, sun kissed. But this brush, I, thinking about it, I think it's like Boutique by Sainsbury's. Like, it's literally nothing exciting, but it's so cheap, but it is so soft, um, and the fallout is minimal. So I really, really rate it, actually. 
Okay, I've just moved the camera in the hope that the lighting is a little bit better, but it doesn't seem to have made much difference. Um, blush wise, again, a cheapest chips, maxi blush. Uh, this is third base, and again, I love it. I just think it works really well, so I literally, little tiny bit on the brush, and I just tap it on. Okay, there we go. This light is horrible. And I'm really upset that the light is so bad. We are now gonna move on to um, the brows again. So, as I said, I just shape them at the very beginning just to make sure that I kind of don't foundation where they need to be. Um, so, I'm gonna go back to my brush and open the right side. Go back to the brush and literally Drag it. Before going back to the pencil. And just filling it in. So once the face is done, once the eyebrows are done, the next thing I to kind of move on to is the lashes. Um, this is going to be quite hard to show you in this light. I need a new ring light. The Goodness me, I've had a mare with this today. Um, so, I'm going to go over my lashes and just show you what I do. Again, day to day, I just use a cheap mascara. If I'm going to be wearing false lashes, I'm not going to put a really expensive um, mascara on my lashes because there is no need. Um, so, this always happens. I do my makeup and then I get an itchy face. Drives me insane. Um, so, this one is in a foreign language, which is weird. False wimpern. False wimpern. Don't know what language that is. Oh, <laughs> one idiot. <laughs> okay, it's English on the other side. Uh, this is Maybelline, uh, the falsies. So, false in Vimpern apparently means the falsies in uh, Maybelline language. Don't know what language that is. If you know, let me know. Um, so, I just wipe that off, wipe the excess. And um, because I'm putting false lashes on, I literally just put the smallest amount on just to darken them and again so it's the bottom ones that I pay attention to so I just put such a small amount on this brush is not great for the bottom lashes. I much prefer a thinner brush. Um, I feel like I'm choking. My husband's just come in and sprayed his deodorant and I'm eating it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. Let's just move this. There you go, I like them quite spidey. Not thick, I just like them long. Again, the mouth gorps. If your mouth isn't wide open, you're not doing it right. Just making sure they're all coated and even. So there we go. So highlight wise, is this so I'm back to Mac this is the double gleam um, extra dimension I absolutely love this it is so sparkly so you can see there oh I absolutely love this brush wise I use this now I don't know how to say this um, is it Guilain or something like that again it's not going to focus um, I don't know how you say it I got this in a freebie actually um, but it's really good, it's really soft, so I just literally run my brush over the highlighter, tap off the excess, and there we go. So you can see already just how good that highlighter is. I absolutely love it. And just bring that round. And again, same on the other side. 
Look at that. I really love it. And then I just use this, again, cheap Sainsbury's brush, rubbed on there, tap off the excess, and just drag that over my nose, under my brow, under my other brow, and then, if I'm feeling fancy, I will just dot it in the corner of my eye. There we go. Lash wise, usually I use Doll Beauty. Uh, these are Betsy and I absolutely adore these, but they are quite full on. Whereas today, I'm gonna use the Fluttery Light by Ilia. Uh, this is 117 and I love these. I just think they're really nice for a day-to-day -day look. So that's what I'm gonna do. However, I am still going to use the Doll Beauty glue. Um, a lot of people use tweezers, I don't, I'm a minger, I use my hands. Um, I just can't get them on with tweezers no matter how much I try. So I just run the glue across the edge and then I will also just put a really thin layer above my lash line. Leave that to get tacky and after about 20 seconds I just stick them on. So the final thing is my favourite, and this is lipstick. So I quite often just wear a nude lipstick, especially when I do quite bold eyes. Um, but because it's autumn, I bought a new lipstick yesterday. So it's a retro matte range from MAC and this one is called Dance With Me and I love it. So I'm feeling very autumnal so today we're going to pop this on but look at it. Look at that. I don't know if you can, you can't see it. Um, so don't bother with lip liner, not on a day to day and oh look at that. Let me lip with you, let me be in your crew, I just want to be free, be with people like me. Maybe somewhere I haven't been before I don't wanna kill the vibe I don't wanna feel it if it don't feel right I just wanna break the ice There's so much more to life than tears There's so much more to life than fears All I want is a night off All I need is a night off All I want is a night off Ooh. Take it away Thank you so much for watching um so this is how i get my face like this i do apologize about the lighting um that was really bad so i am really sorry um next time hopefully it works a little bit better but i hope you enjoyed it please make sure that you do like comment and subscribe please make sure that you subscribe um and make sure that you follow me on instagram as well um but yeah thank you so much i will see you again on saturday for my fertility episodes this is episode six um and i will see you next week for another little video so thank you so much see you later